Oh my god, you guys have no idea how hard it was to sneak up here to make this video. I told my aunt that I need to make a green drink so I could sneak upstairs from the yarn shop and hide out in the corner of my bedroom and make a vlog. Sorry about the awful background behind me. I guess I could decorate it. And sorry about the phone. I'm, I'm filming this on my iPhone. I don't have the fancy camera I did before. Um, my aunt's a little afraid of technology. Uh, she doesn't have a computer or internet or an Apple TV or a TV at all. There's no Netflix, digital clocks, pretty much nothing electronic except for the electronic hand mixer. That's it. Nothing. Downstairs in the yarn shop, we have to bring everything up on an old school cash register. Ching, cha ching, bring, sale. I have to do math, like real math, crazy. Stay in school, kids. Also, there's going to be a little bit of a time delay. I have to send this to the editor, Brandon, in Los Angeles, and then he said he'll put it up for me on YouTube, so I won't really be able to interact as in real time. Some of you have been asking if I'm going to start vlogging again, and I really, really want to. I actually really miss it. I never expected to enjoy it so much and enjoy talking to you guys so much. But I do. I was starting to think maybe I would make a vlog about, you know, the ghosty kind of stuff that happens to me, which happens kind of a lot. But since I've come to San Francisco, it's been really quiet. Not much has really happened. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I'm growing out of my gift, which is kind of a bummer. I, I actually kind of miss it. I know it sounds weird, but I, I kind of miss, uh the um, haunting stuff. Huh. I mean, it wouldn't have been as cool as like a makeup vlog or a vlog about books or any of that kind of stuff, but, but it would have been mine. It would have been my vlog. It would have been real. If you've been reading my blog, you heard about James. I know it's so weird. I'm so bummed. I thought we were becoming friends and I was really enjoying his company and he's this really nice, sweet, quiet guy. He likes to read books. <laughs> How cute is that? And he got a degree in library science. I didn't even know there was a science to libraries, but I guess, I guess he's just not really that into it, which is fine. I have to go back to LA eventually, probably really soon. And it would have been hard to say goodbye to friends and stuff. At least, you know, this way it's easier. Fallon. It's been um, weird with Fallon too. Don't worry, he doesn't watch these. I don't think he's ever watched a single vlog I've made. I miss him. I really miss him. He's so much fun, but he's so bad at being a long distance boyfriend. He never calls enough. He doesn't write enough. He forgets things. I mean, he's not ever been really that on it in person either, but being apart is really kind of amplified that stuff. I don't know. Oh, and the glasses. Okay, I, yes, I was wearing fake glasses in the first couple of vlogs. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Here's the thing. I love those glasses. I know they're not real. These are my real glasses. I just really like them and I really couldn't afford to buy new glasses and I wanted to wear them and, and these have this like glary thing going on and, and I like them. What's the difference between wearing fake glasses and wearing like a see-through top? That top is see-through. It's not doing what a top is supposed to do. You still see your bra. By that logic, it's the same as fake glasses because it's not doing what it's supposed to do, right? It's the same. 